going on guys? My name is Shane and today we're doing another makeup tutorial. Today I actually came across the Morphe palette Ice Fantasy. This palette has a lot of like pastels and a whole bunch of really beautiful glitters as well and with the spring nowhere in sight <laughs> but in heart I wanted to try out this palette today so let's go ahead and open it because honestly I went into Ulta last night to get some more self tanner and I saw this on display and I maybe contemplated buying it for like 30 seconds at the most before I actually bought it because I am a fan of Morphe palettes. Um, they're uh, pretty affordable in my opinion and when I saw the colors I just it was one of those things I knew I wanted to have. So we'll open it real quick. We're not going to go through every shade, but we are going to create a pretty look today. But looking at it right away, as many palettes as I have, there's a really nice range of both mattes and shimmers and glitters in here. I already am gravitating towards some of these colors. I'm obsessed with so I'm really excited to create a look with you guys today so I hope you stick around and we'll come up with something today I don't know what I want to do exactly I don't know I'm just gonna start somewhere and see where we uh, end up I suppose <laughs> I kind of want to do something I'm, I'm drinking a juice box but I kind of want to play with colors today there's a lot of these pastel colors kind of sticking out to me so it might be kind of a not a rainbow but a pretty colorful look today so ah, we'll see all right i think i'm first gonna take up this coral color called coral cloud and i'm using my morphe 431 brush to do so and just to start somewhere I'm just packing this back and forth in my crease and then I'm going to use slight circular motions just to start blending this color up fallout isn't bad um there's a little bit in the pan but to be honest these lighter colors when they're pigmented like this is a really good sign to me next I'm going to go into this pink shade rats here this one is called sky high and I'm looking down into my mirror so that way I can apply this shade right into the socket of my crease. Next, I'm going to take this really gorgeous purple over here. I don't think my camera is doing any justice to this palette, but it's so beautiful. This shade is called Dreamer. And this shade is going to be packed onto my lid. Um, but I kind of want to layer colors across my lid, so I'm keeping it in my outer third. And I'm also going to drag it up into my crease a little bit, so I'm just using the Morphe 507 brush to do so, a little more of Dreamer, and I'm just packing that right on top as well. Next, I'm going to go into Chill Thrill using the same flat shader brush, and I'm going to pack this on the inner third of my lid. Honestly, these aren't like super crazy pigmented I am getting fallout here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go in a little bit with my concealer and we're gonna cut this crease a bit to give the um, eyeshadow like a tacky surface to sit on hopefully this will just give it a better kind of stick so I'm gonna go back into that same color and try again I'm just gonna use the very tip of this brush to blend out that concealer's edge a little bit instead of going in with that fluffy brush. So just so there's no like real harsh line, I'm just blending that out. For the very center of my lids where I didn't meet the purple and the blue, I want to try this like icy pink color. This one is called Imagine and I'm just going in again with the same, same flat shader brush. I do want to try using a little bit of setting spray on my brush. Um, and see if I can't get this color a little bit more pigmented. It is pretty. It's showing up. It's on this eye at the moment. But I just want to see what would happen if I dampened the brush a little bit. I definitely feel like it helped um, the shadow pop a little bit. So I would recommend doing that if you want more of a high impact from those kinds of shadows. I even want to go a step further with that shadow and I'm going to wet this tiny little brush. It's this eyeshadow almost as an eyeliner so I'm just going to line the very top of my crease. I 
Now I left the fallout there on my cheek so you guys could see firsthand. So there certainly is fallout but it is easily wiped away and it doesn't leave like any streaks or anything. I'm gonna take my NYX Faux Whites in vanilla and line my waterline. On my Morphe ooh, 213 brush, I'm gonna take this matte white shade and I'm gonna use this to highlight my inner corner. I'm also gonna use that same color to highlight my brow bone and honestly, I am pretty uh, impressed with this matte white. And then I'm going back into that original coral shade that we first used and I'm going to sweep this on my lower lash line. I'm going to line my eyes and add a wing using my NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner. And also recently I've been really enjoying lining my inner corner as well so I'm going to do that too. Two coats of mascara to my top and bottom lashes using L'Oreal's Telescopic. And then for lashes, I'm still using the Batty B lashes in the style called Saucy. While I allow my lashes to dry completely, I'm going to bronze up my face using my Wet n Wild bronzer, this poor thing. <laughs> For some color on my cheeks, I'm using my Narcissist Blush Palette, and I think I'm just going to use these two down here, which are called Kingpin and Bumpy Ride. You could definitely do something a little more playful, like you could play with Crave down here, but I'm keeping this look today a little more on the everyday side. A little bit of highlighter using the Morphe 8Z palette. I think I'm just going to go in a cosmic. And then for lips, nothing special. I wanted to keep them very neutral today. I'm going in with Birthday Soup by Jeffree Star. And I'm going to finish off today's look with a little bit of setting spray. Okay guys, so this was the final look, um, final thoughts about the palette. A, it, again, is super affordable, but this is definitely not a palette that I would reach for if I want like pops of color, but that was the whole point of getting it. I wanted something that was much more soft, um, pastel, but still really colorful. There are tons of shadows that we did not even look at today, so I'm really looking forward to playing with this palette some more in the future creating some more bold looks, using some more of those glitters. I didn't even like touch the greens, which is so unlike me. Um, but I think it's a great palette to have in your collection. I think the price point is certainly worth it. It's not um, if you're looking for like a Jeffree Star jawbreaker where those colors are much more vibrant, much more like in your face. This reminds me of like unicorns and mermaids and just very, very, very soft certainly helped to put the concealer down and then top it with the eyeshadows. I was definitely able to get the eyeshadows to pop a little bit more. But overall, I really, really, really like this palette. I can't wait to play with it more in the future. As I said, I'm obsessed with pastels, so I definitely thought it was worth it, and I hope you guys do too. If you pick up the palette and try it yourself, let me know what you think about it. I would love to hear your opinions as well. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please go ahead, leave a thumbs up, and while you're down there, hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss any new videos, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.